Hi, thanks for doing this. No worries. All right, what is your name? Are you completing or have you completed BCE, VCAL and what do you want to do now that you've finished school? So I'm Annabelle, I finished Year 12 in 2019 and I'm currently studying to be a teacher. Cool. What university are you at? Latrobe, Bandura. Okay. Um, what subjects did you do and in VCE and why did you choose those? Um, I did Australian history early, so I did that in year 11 as a year 12 subject. Um, I did visual communication design, biology, maths, English and health. And I chose them because I liked the subjects and they led into multiple different pathways. So if I changed my mind about where I was going to study or what I wanted to study, I could go like that way. Okay. Um, what influenced your choice? Oh, well, you just answered that. So what influenced your choices, but it was based on what you liked and where you wanted to go after, uni after high school. All right. Um, what was your favourite subject in Year 10? In Year 10, probably visual communication design. Okay, which is like an... What, what do you do in that? It's an art base. Okay. Um, so it's part of the art curricula area, but it's not really art. Like you don't draw. It's just designing like logos and designing menus or even designing like a building or doing like a floor plan of like your room and designing your room or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, what preconceived ideas did you have about VCE? Um, that it was going to be hard and a lot of work. Were those correct? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't too hard. Like, it was a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, what is one characteristic you think you need um, to be, to have as a senior school student? Organisation, 100%. I don't think anyone would succeed without um, organisation. More organisation organization the better you'll do okay um what is one thing you would have told your year nine or ten self in regards to your schooling work harder <laughs> work harder <laughs> yeah if you work harder in the junior years it makes the senior years a lot better because you you do repeat the work from year 10 and 9 so if you do really well in year 10 and 9 you'll do well in year 12 okay um how much time did you spend doing homework during vce um, at least three hours a night, but it really fluctuated depending on what assignments or sacks or tests you had. Um, one night, some nights I was up to 2am working on my folio for the design subject. Sometimes I, I would have no homework. Like it just depends on the subjects. Yeah. What about during school holidays? Um, I would do six hours a day. So I'd copy like mirror my like school timetable so if I had maths 9am on a Monday morning I'd do maths at 9am on a Monday morning and then after school hours I would have free time okay all right um and how did you prepare for your assessments um uh depends on what subject but basically you just do a heap of practice questions you get feedback from your teachers um, it's just practice and feedback. Like it's like an ongoing loop until you've got it really. Yep. All right. What was the biggest challenge about VCE and did you make any sacrifices to do well? Um, the biggest challenge of VCE would probably be prioritising school. Like that was quite hard for the first term, like really changing your life. So sacrificing work and maybe even like sport. Um, to like prioritize school um, was a big, big hard part of it. But once you get used to it, and once you got a timetable, like a study timetable, it was pretty easy. And what did um, you have to sacrifice? Did you have to sacrifice? Yeah, work and sport. Okay. Um, is there any advice you give to students that are currently in Year Nine heading into senior years? Um, probably to pick subjects you like because um, you'll want to do them in year 12 um, and probably stay organised now, get used to the study habits, practice your exams, practice your assignments, um, just work hard now. Yep.
Punkt.